Hi guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, revisiting an old and very popular tutorial that I did, which was called Adding a Reflection to an Object. Now, um, the reason why I'm revisiting this tutorial uh, is that I've had quite a few people comment on the fact that uh, my reflection didn't look uh, realistic enough. It was just too perfect of a reflection and wanted to know how they can make it look more uh, realistic, like it's really on on, a, on another surface with some texture in it. Um, so I figured that was a really, really good idea. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I won't be going through all the steps that I did into uh, from the first video tutorial. As you can see, I already added the reflection here. Um, if I, just to show you here, I can uh, redo, remove the layer. And I just kind of duplicated it, flipped it over, and brought it down and clean it up a little bit. You can uh, go through all those steps in the first video tutorial that I put the link on right above this video. Now what we're going to be doing from this point on is uh, continuing f to make this reflection as realistic as possible. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce the opacity of this layer and bring it down to about, oh, let's say 25%. That looks good to me. And the next thing to make it more realistic is adding a new layer, clicking on this Add New Layer button here. And we're going to paint in a gradient, white to transparent. If you click here, you have all your options here. Make sure your white is your top color here in your palette. And then just select white to transparent here. And make sure that your gradient, the first gradient selection is selected. And then holding the Shift key down, click and drag. That way it makes a nice straight line. And you get your uh, reflection kind of diffused like that. Now once we have that, that's how I, I basically finished the last tutorial. And it looks pretty good. But as some of you pointed out, it's not that realistic looking. Now, how to make this more realistic? First of all, we've got to select um, our phone flip layer and not work on the gradient layer. Uh, it all depends. You know, I've been playing around with some of the f uh, filters in Photoshop, and it all depends what surface you want your phone to be on, <laughs> basically, because there's, some, there's a, quite a few options that we can do. And let's go through a few of them together. Now, the one that I figured out to be my favorite uh, in filter in blur, it was a motion blur. And basically, I put a 45 degree angle on the motion blur. I put the distance at about 20 pixels. Now, this depends on the size of your image and the effect you want to put on it. And it kind of gives you a preview here of the effect that it does. It gives it a bit of an angle sheen on it. And I just clicked OK. And if we look at this at 100%, and uh, we just, before and after, you get that nice little blurring effect, but on, on a bit of an angle there. It looks like you're, you're shooting on a plexiglass that has a bit of texture in it. And I really like that, that feeling. So that was one, one uh, solution. Uh, another one was going into filter and just doing a standard Gaussian blur. Again, I'm on the wrong layer. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can play, put as little or as much blur as you want. Click OK. Going back full screen, we can see that effect before and after. It's just a regular blur. It doesn't give it much, much texture, though, like the uh, previous motion blur did. And that's another way of uh, adding that. It would be considered a smoother um, texture on your, your table, maybe glass or something like that. Uh, the next one that I found a bit interesting was in, I think it was in, let me see, was it Distort? Yeah, in, called Ocean Ripple. Now when we play that one up, and again I'm on the wrong layer, because every time I go back into my history. All right, Distort, Ocean, not Polar Coordinates. I'll get it, I'll get it, don't worry about it. Distort, Ocean Ripple, there we go. OK, now you can see here the effect that it gives it. And you can play with the ripple size a little bit and the ripple magnitude. 
And it kind of gives you like this uh, stained glass type of effect, uh, as if your phone is, is on a, uh, a textured glass surface. And I really like that effect. And uh, you can see what it does here. Uh, if we zoom back, it gives it a bit of a texture-ish feeling to it that looks kind of real. So um, what you want to do, because it, it's kind of uh, uh, edgy a little bit, I kind of added a little bit of a Gaussian blur on top of that, just slight, not too much, just a little bit around two pixels. Uh, and that made it look more realistic as well. So there you go. A couple of ways to make your reflection a little bit more realistic with a bit of texture. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on, uh, I guess it's like a part two to my first one. And um, we'll uh, be seeing you soon. Yannick Chauvin signing out. Bye-bye.